Good morning. Welcome back, everyone. Today is Wednesday, May 31st, 2023. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. So thank you for joining me. Welcome to today's prayer and Bible study and Bible reading. Today we're reading um, Revelation chapter 4, which is actually very short. It's only um, 11 verses, but I'm excited to read it. I didn't realize it was so short. I didn't, um, I didn't read it yesterday, but this is going to be um, exciting. So chapters two and three, we read letters to the churches. Now today, the title, let me give you a little sneak preview. Here in the Amplified, the title of the two sections are A Scene in Heaven and the Throne and Worship of the Creator. So this is going to be short, but it's going to be sweet. All right, so let's pray. It's not going to take us too long to get through Bible study today. Um, we're going to pray and get right into it. All right, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you so much for waking each and every one of us up this morning, oh Lord. I thank you that we have eyes to see and ears to hear. Father, I thank you for your goodness, your grace, and your mercy. I thank you that your hand continues to rest upon our lives. Father, I pray that you will continue to bless us, to watch over us, to keep our family members, Lord God. Father, we pray for our bloodlines, both maternal and paternal, from the oldest to the youngest. Lord, I ask that you will have your way in our lives. Let your will be done in our lives. Order our steps, our thoughts. Our paths make every crooked path straight, Lord God. I pray that you will give us the desires of your heart for us, Lord God. Not that just we ask for the desires of our flesh, but Lord, that we will seek first the kingdom of God. And Lord, that we will desire what you have for us, that we will desire your will your way, your purpose, and your plan for our lives. Lord, I ask today that you will bless the works of our hands, cause everything that we do, cause it to be successful and prosperous, Lord God. Father, may we uh, experience the benefits that you have for us each and every day, oh God. I thank you that your goodness, your grace, and your mercy are new every morning, Lord. Father, I thank you for your angels that you have given charge over us according to your word in the book of psalms god i thank you that all things are working together for our good according to the book of romans lord father we just ask as we prepare to go deeper into the book of revelation that you would give us a greater capacity for understanding what the book of revelation is showing to us oh god and i pray for the anointing of the sons of issachar to be upon us that we will be able to discern the times and seasons that we will know what we ought to do father i pray that you will show each and every one of us us and our households how to position ourselves for the days going forward Father, even show us where we need to shop to buy food that is healthy and uncontaminated, that is non-GMO, Lord God. And Father, I pray that you will give us wisdom in everything that we do. Cause us to operate with the spirit of integrity and excellence, Lord. Let us represent you well in all that we do. And may we always give your name the glory, the honor, and the praise that is due. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to gather. And I just ask, oh God, that we will all sit and enjoy the reading of the word and continue to press into you in our prayer closets. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Now, I hope the glare is not um, too much for you. It looks good on Instagram this morning, but I'm not sure Facebook. I hope the glare is not too much. All right, so let's jump right into the reading of Revelation chapter 4. I'm only going to read it out of the Amplified Translation. I did read the Amplified, the Message, and King James this morning, and I think the Amplified will suffice. Other than there's one, the last verse, verse 11, I'm going to read two out of the King James. I really like it in the King James. But other than that, we're going to stick with the Amplified, and then we'll go through the footnotes because there were some footnotes down here this morning. All right. And it reads, seen in heaven. After this, I looked and behold, a door standing open in heaven. And the first voice which I had heard, like the sound of a war trumpet speaking with me said, come up here and I will show you what must take place after these things. And once I was in special communion with the spirit and behold, a throne stood in heaven with one seated on the throne, capital O. 
and he, capital H, who sat there appeared like the crystalline sparkle of a jasper stone and the fiery redness of a sardius stone. And encircling the throne, there was a rainbow that looked like the color of an emerald. 24 other thrones surrounded the throne and seated on these thrones were 24 elders dressed in white clothing with crowns of gold on their head, heads the throne and worship of the creator. From the throne came flashes of lightning and rumbling sounds and pearls of thunder. Seven lamps of fire were burning in front of the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. And in front of the throne, there was something like a sea or large expanse of glass, like the clearest crystal. In the center and around the throne were four living creatures who were full of eyes in front and behind, seeing everything and knowing everything that is around them. The first living creature was like a lion, the second creature like a calf or an ox, the third creature had the face of a man, the fourth creature was like a flying eagle. And the four living creatures, each one of them having six wings and full of eyes all over and within underneath their wings. And day and night, they never stop saying, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God almighty who was and who is and who is to come. Let me read this again. I left out the, the parts in parentheses just because. I think we know it the way I read it. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, the omnipotent and the ruler of all who was and who is and who is to come, the unchanging eternal God. Whenever the living creatures give glory and honor and thanksgiving to him, capital H, who sits on the throne to him, capital H, who lives forever and ever. The 24 elders fall down before him who sits on the throne and they worship him who lives forever and ever. And they throw down their crowns before the throne saying, worthy are you, O Lord and God, to receive the glory and the honor and the power. For you created all things and because of your will, they exist and were created and brought into being. Amen and amen. And that concludes the reading of chapter 11. Now, let me read verse 11 to you. That there was something else I want, I, as I was reading this, it just came back to me that I happened to like what it said in the message. I should have jotted the verse down quickly. I'll find it. Okay, here, verse 11. Let me read verse 11 to you out of the King James. I just love this. Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. God has created all things, and for his pleasure they were, they are and were created. I love that. Okay, let me go to over here to the message. Okay, let me read... Um, I would just read 9 to through 11 to you in, in the message. Every time the animals gave glory and honor and thanks to the one seated on the throne, the age after age living one, capital L, capital O, the 24 elders would fall prostrate before the one seated on the throne. They worshiped the age after age living one. They threw their crowns at the foot of the throne chanting worthy O master yes our god take the glory the honor the power you created it all it was created because you wanted it okay let's go back to the amplified now i'm going to take you through the footnotes footnote for verse one this chapter begins the revelation of john of future events okay you know what? I take this back because I'm going to go back and read some more to you out of. I'm going to read verse one to you out of the message. Then I looked and oh, a door opened into heaven. A trumpet voice, the first voice in my vision called out, ascend and enter. I'll show you what happens next. OK, so I'm just tying that into the footnote because it's making it clear here that this chapter begins the revelation of John of future events. 
footnote for verse number three. In antiquity, this name was given to various kinds of colors and precious stones. While the sardius was a reddish stone, the gems are indicative of royalty. Let me go back and get that for you. Jasper. Okay, so verse three says, and he who sat there appeared like the crystalline sparkle of a jasper stone and the fiery redness of a sardius stone. All right, so it says jasper. Um, in antiquity, this name was given to various kinds of colors of precious stones. All right, the gems are indicative of royalty. Okay, footnote for verse four. The 24 elders may indicate the 12 tribes of Israel together with the 12 apostles representing redeemed humanity. Others say the 24 may be an angelic order of worship akin to the Aaronic priests. Okay, footnote for verse 6. This is talking about, okay, where are we for 6? Okay, so now this is talking about in front of what we see in front of the throne, right? Okay, it says, some scholars identify these creatures as cherubim glorifying God and guarding the throne of he heaven. Others suggest the creatures represent God's attributes, especially his omniscience and omnipresence. Now, remember what we saw here. It said the first... Um, being, I'm going to just use that word. They say, he, I think they call them like creatures, right? Um, one was like a lion. Okay, it says the first living creature was like a lion. The second was like a calf. The third had the face of a man. And the fourth creature was like a flying eagle. Footnote for number seven, for verse seven. Verse seven says, the first living, okay, just reads to you, the first living creature was like a lion. Here's the footnote. Jewish tradition su suggests that during the Exodus, the four standards of the tri tribal triads depicted these images. The triad led by Judah, the lion, the triad led by Reuben, the man, the triad led by Ephraim, the ox, and the triad triad led by Daniel, the eagle. Okay, so that concludes um, chapter four. So I might go back and listen to some more studies on this and then go back and um, look this up, what they're talking about, Reuben, Ephraim, Dan, and Judah. All right. So anyway, I don't have anything extra to add to it. There's no nothing more I can um, elaborate on. So let me see. Let's just check out verse five tomorrow. Let's see how long verse five is. Verse five is also short. It's only 14 verses. All right. And tomorrow it says the scroll with the seven seals. So this is about to really get exciting you all. All right. So with that, I'm going to say, everyone have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining me. I ask that each and every one of you, please do go to my YouTube channel. The YouTube channel is named Allison Vaughn. The link is in my bio on both Facebook and Instagram. And for those of you, because now I'm not in landscape mode today. So on this video on face, I mean on YouTube, if you look up above my head, you're going to see a link. And I believe what I'll do is I will link chapter five there for you. Usually I have a subscribe link and a, a link to the next chapter, but I'll only be able to fit one on here. So I think what I'll do is I'll just link above my head, the link to Revelation chapter five. All right, everyone have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining me. Grace and peace. And I can't wait to get into the reading of chapter five tomorrow. All right, everyone have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye-bye.